Hey guys, Rhett here at a client's property. Really, really excited for Gordon. This is his first property. It's going to be a Section 8 rental. It's a two bedroom home, okay? He has it under contract for 75,000. It needs about 3,500 in work. Come on in, let's go through it. So guys, a lot of times when it comes to Section 8 rentals, you understand that the rent that we bring in is going to be directly related to the amount of bedrooms that a unit has. So this bedroom right here, uh, this home right here, only has two bedrooms, all right? So the maximum we're going to be able to get is about $950. So say for argument's sake, we get 900. That's what I like to run my numbers off of. I want to be a little bit conservative. Needs 3,500 work. Now let's talk about what it needs in work. It needs HVAC work. The HVAC needs to be serviced. We've been in here, we turned the HVAC on, no hot air is coming through. It's kicking on quick, but no hot air. Uh, it needs some pretty significant electrical work throughout the house. Uh, we had to reground a lot of the outlets. We had to take some outlets out. There's some light switches that don't work and we have to do some exterior work, okay? So nothing crazy, but still we wanna make sure we're smart when we talk about getting into a two bedroom home. With that being said, whoever redid this home did a really nice job overall. I'm very pleased with it. So come on in and we'll kind of talk about it. Right here, uh, immediately we have the, the living room. Okay, close that. Um, newer light fixture in here. All this is original hardwood that has been re-sanded and refinished. Whoever did this did a really, really nice job. I can still smell uh, the polyurethane from, from when they did it. Uh, it feels good and it was done right, which is really nice. So you move from this living room into a den area, which we see a lot with these older homes, a, a lot of similar layouts. And, and some of you guys that have been on my channel for a long time, you must be saying to yourself at this point, holy cow, so many of these houses have similar layouts and it's true. When you look at homes that were built in a certain time period in certain areas, there was only certain layouts that were uh, normal or that were cool in style, right? Uh, this is very, very common where you have a living room, a den slash dining room area, and then the kitchen and then the bedrooms behind you. So very easy, very simple. You have, you know, you know where your load bearing walls are, so it's easier for us to do rehabs and uh, we're able to get in and out of these things quickly when there is significant work to be done. Now, of course, this house is, does not really follow along in that. But with that being said, definitely some work to be done. A lot of the outlet work has been done really, really shoddy. So for instance, almost every single outlet now, they're all three pronged, but none of them are grounded. But you know, they're not on right, right? So someone just throws them on. You can see the gaps, that'll fail section eight. You come over here. You see the gaps here, that'll fail, right? So what we'll do is we'll move the outlets a little bit while we ground them. Uh, same thing here, they're crooked, okay? It's just not gonna work. Now, something great about this unit is it has appliances though, which is nice. So we went from the living room to the den slash dining room. Let's head back into the kitchen, okay? Now the kitchen, this is not hardwood. Okay, this is, uh, this is our, our uh, vinyl flooring here. In here, um, we have newer countertops, cabinets. This is a failure point. We'll have to come in here and make sure all these close on their own and stay closed. Same right here. Okay, gonna have to make sure that, that they close. Um, we have our refrigerator, we have our, our oven and our, our, our range, fairly new. Everything in here uh, is, for the most part, in good working shape. Now, of course, we have to make sure all these cupboards close, which they do, nice. We um, have to make sure the windows work. Now, let's talk about windows, okay? Newer shades, which is nice. So, and, and this is one of the things, guys, that always cracks me up, but we have a brand new window lock on a window from 1940, okay? Which, there's there's no getting this open at all. Oh, yeah, I mean, I just pulled it away, but there's no getting it open. Um, 
So it's funny. I just it makes me laugh when I see locks like this because it gives me false hope that maybe the window's going to work, which it doesn't. So we have to make sure that this window operates, okay, um, just to adhere by normal Section Eight uh, guidelines. But whoever did this house did a you know did a fine job with the rehab. One thing that's very strange, you know, in these houses when when we buy these and and if Gordon uh, buys this. Obviously, we don't have to buy appliances, which is going to save us some good money. And these are pretty good appliances, so that definitely makes me happy. But one thing we're going to get rid of is this, and that is a dishwasher that is in the wall. Okay, so it's an in-wall dishwasher. Those dishwashers right there, they're usually you're supposed to put them. Uh, if you guys have them at home, they're usually right under your your countertops, right? So. When we walked in, I was thinking to myself, huh, interesting, that must be some dead space behind us. But as we walked to the rear of the home, we realized that there was a dead space. We have a nice little mudroom back here with our water heater, our laundry hookups. But look at this. This is the rear of that dishwasher. Okay, very strange, very odd. We're just gonna rip that right out. We'll fill that hole. Um, electrical panel looks good. Looks really good. All this stuff has been updated recently. This is a new breaker for the electric water heater. This is fairly new as well. All the electrical work has been done here. Um, you know, we gotta clean that board up. Uh, we have our laundry hookups. It is all new PEX line that has been in. Obviously, you know, somebody comes in here and spray paints all this, which you can tell when you look at the PEX line, uh, all this, these are all new, brand new, uh, plumbing cords as well. So overall guys, I have to say, I really do a little storage closet. It's got some extra tiling. It's got some extra grout, um, and some extra paint. This is not bad. It's got all new, brand new shades. I, I mean, you know, shades don't really do anything for us, but it has aluminum windows in this whole room that, that work. So overall, uh, new light fixture. I'm, I'm pleasantly happy with this unit. Now, do I think 75,000 is where it needs to be? No, I think based on the 3,500 work that it needs, I think 3,500 is, is on the low side of what we could do in here. But I think, you know, we, we got to try and um, keep this somewhat within budget because we know it's not going to bring in 1,200, 1,300 a month. So um, with that being said, I think we'd probably go back to the sellers at 70,000, see if we can get a deal done and then be all into this thing for 70 plus closing costs, plus 3,500 rehab, then the numbers start to make more sense. So walking back through the kitchen, guys, you have bedroom number one, right off of this dining room, a really, really good size bedroom. Now, this is gonna really put me at odds because it's a brand new ceiling fan, brand new. And it, it's gonna make me cry a little bit when we rip this out of the ceiling and throw it in the trash. But you do what you gotta do. So walking through bedroom number one, we have a closet in here as well, which is nice, all brand new doors, except for the closet door. Um, but that new brand new bathroom door, brand new bedroom door. We come in here, okay, into the bathroom. Old, 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 gross vanity. We're just gonna clean this up. Um, but brand new toilet, tub has been updated. GFI outlet here. Um, so everything in here looks pretty good. Brand new tiling on the floor. Looks really nice as well. So I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised with, with this, with this uh, bathroom. And then it's a Jack and Jill style. So they share that bathroom and this is bedroom number two. So bedroom number two is off of the living room. And we have a nice big closet in here as well. Really good size closet. I think for the price, guys, we're getting a lot of value out of this home. Now, of course, we're gonna have to make sure all of the uh, windows work and make sure everything works, which it needs window work for sure, because the windows don't work. Uh, but overall, really happy for Gordon. I think this will be a really, really good first property if the seller is willing to come down a little bit in price. Otherwise, I, 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 I'm not sure. I think we're right on the cusp for two bedrooms. There's certain price points I'd like to stay under when it comes to um, uh, buying them and, and doing 
rehab because I want to make sure that the two bedroom rent we're getting, which is obviously going to be significantly less than three or four or five bedrooms, still makes sense from a long-term buy and hold perspective. Guys, if you want to own houses like this and you want me to be talking about your investment, shoot me an email in the description below and we'll get you started. See you next time.